What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some runway gameplay and today we're going to be talking about the three wishes rogue changes in the newest PTS update for rogue company. So let's head over. Let's check it out. So these are the rogue changes in the three wishes PTS notes. We're going to run through these. We're going to talk about them. So Mac is getting a whole new perk loadout. It's better. It's an updated loadout to reflect his defender slash breacher hybrid identity. So he's going to have rare berserker, rare blaster, rare armor is going to be slotted out with nimble hands. Epic stalker is going to be slotted in with epic bulletproof, epic gunsmith, epic bounce back. Legendary crack shot is going to be slotted in with legendary stalker and legendary restock is going to be slotted in with legendary tenacity. Also, his passive ability is getting reverted back to the way that it was. Since they are removing that rare level of armor, they're going to revert the passive ability back to where whenever you down someone, you gain the full 25 armor back on a down as opposed to 15 armor. For glitch, his hack activation time has been reduced from 2 seconds down to 1.5 seconds, and the hack duration has been increased from 5 seconds up to 6 seconds. For cannon, his Gatlin gun movement speed reduction was completely removed, and the headshot damage was increased from 16 up to 18. With Dallas, he is now considered an Intel Rogue, and with that, there were a couple of loadout changes that come along with him. So he is going to have the Riptide replaced with the HRM 30K, and the Adrenaline Shot is going to be replaced with the EMP Grenade. Also, his Target Finder and Recharge Quality of Life issue, the Recharge now appropriately refreshes Target Finder while the ability is still active. Remember, you can only have one reveal out at a time. With Talon, he is now considered an Intel Rogue, and he is also going to get a loadout adjustment for his perks. So Rare Hunter is going to be replaced with Rare Tracker Rounds. He's going to have Rare Shredder Rounds, Rare Armor. Epic Nimble Hands is going to be replaced with Epic Crack Shot. Epic Padded Steps. Epic Life Drain is going to be replaced with Epic Tenacity. Legendary Tenacity is going to be replaced with Legendary Life Drain. And Legendary Crack Shot is going to be replaced with Legendary Nimble Hands. Also, the retrieve function on his mag gloves, uh, the time has been reduced on that from 0.5 seconds to 0.25 seconds. So let's run through these one at a time and see what we think about them here. Okay, so with Mac, they're doing a full new, because Mac has always been a very oppressive character in my opinion. I mean, he's been very good at what he has done. He has access to LMGs, SMGs, the two most dangerous, in my opinion, the two most dangerous uh, weapon classes to have access to currently. So they are moving some things around with him. Removing the legendary restock from him and slotting in legendary tenacity makes sense and is going to make him tankier. So them removing legendary crack shot as well and giving him legendary stalker is going to make him a much more lethal and quicker target on the battlefield while ADSing, which is going to come in really nice pairing with his conviction. Uh, and then he's going to have access to nimble hands at the rare level and bulletproof at the epic level, removing armor and moving stalker, of course, to legendary. Now, whenever you look at his perk loadout here, he is still going to be a very, very tanky person. Like he's going to get the 25 refund whenever he downs someone. He's going to have access to bulletproof on top of that to negate some of that body damage. And he's going to have access to legendary tenacity. Uh, and then he has APS systems on top of that. So he's going to be a very tanky, very, very aggressive. Like people can play him very aggressively still. Having epic bounce, bounce back there coupled with bulletproof, coupled with the tenacity and his passive ability to regain the armor. He can be still used as someone, someone that is very, very aggressive. Um, and I like the idea of a defender slash breacher hybrid character. It's very interesting. I think that it like is going to provide something very different. I'm not sure if these changes are going to like fully take the oppressive nature of Mac away from him and then like allow him to kind of exist into this like good sweet spot. But I think that this is a step in the right direction. I think having bounce back at that epic level is still very, very good. And I would not be upset whatsoever if they dropped it down to the rare level and they kind of floated a couple of other perks around to make it a little bit better in the long run. But I think that he's still got a good kit. I think he's still going to be very, 
very much played. I think that he's still going to be very oppressive to a degree. I don't think he's going to be as oppressive, but he still has access to light machine guns. And yes, restock is an issue. But whenever you have access to something that has 100 bullets in it or close to 100 bullets in it, then like restock and replenish really don't matter that much in the grand scheme of things. I think that this is going to make people that want to play Mac as more more aggressively rely more heavily on the light machine guns as opposed to the SMGs because the SMGs, you're still going to have the downtime with reloading, but you're going to have hundreds of bullets, not hundreds, but a lot of bullets and light machine guns. So it's still, it's just kind of like changing that just slightly in my opinion. I still think he's going to be really good. With Glitch, the hack, the activation time has been reduced from 2 seconds down to 1.5 seconds. I don't like this. Like, I like this, but I don't think that it's enough. I think that, like, once you start getting the Glitch hack animation, then that should just be a byproduct of you being hacked. Like, it should be almost instantaneous, in my opinion. If anything, it should be like a 0.5 second delay on it. And then the hack duration increase from five seconds up to six seconds. Like EMPs are really strong. The EMP duration is is insane. Like it is crazy. Um, I think that the hack duration for Glitch might not be a bad idea to bump him up to like maybe seven or eight seconds. I know like whenever they initially reworked Glitch, they did up the hack duration and it was to the point where people could hack right out of the plane on demolition. And by the time they got to the plant site and started planting the bomb, you were still, the enemy team was still hacked. It was insane. Um, they've got to find a sweet spot there. Like that's what they have to do. If you can't reveal, if you can't use abilities, if you can't put any defenses down to try to stop this push because you have been glitched hacked since the round first started, then what can you do? Like, I understand that there's a sweet spot that they have to hit where it's not overly oppressive, but that goes back to like, did they really need to change glitch to have a global hack? Wouldn't it make more sense to have more of like a breacher hack where you get in close and you hack on a specific site as opposed to hacking everything globally? So that's more of a character design issue, more or less. Like it wouldn't bother me if they reverted that back, gave him a little bit of a larger, you know, AOE type of hack effect uh, for his character, but like increase the duration when that happens. That way it doesn't feel like you're running glitch just for his passive ability and his perks at that point cannon i am glad that they're removing this speed reduction but i still think that like being able to crouch with cannon's gatling gun as some type of defense whenever you are using it is still very much needed like at the end of the day i think that the gatling gun is still a very like very situational 100 percent very situational ability and it's just not good it's just not well designed i think that there's some other things that they could do with it but with it being what it is this is how they're trying to deal with it i know for newer players it feels very oppressive i know for people that have been playing for quite a while the the cannon with the gatling gun is not a scary thing anymore so you have to find that sweet spot of like do you want to cater to the new people and make it like make them happier and retention wise or do you want to cater to the veteran players who are still here who are like well if the ability is useless then what's the point in playing him when you can play literally 24 other rogues and still get benefits out of it so with dallas i'm glad that they're changing him to an intel rogue i'm glad that they're slotting the hrm back in um over the riptide i do like the riptide now it is very very good like almost too good i do like him with the hrm 30k and then of course him getting the emp grenades back is like a win 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 in my in my opinion like it is a win win talent Talon is going to be like super interesting in this update because like, all right, Hunter's getting replaced with track arounds. Okay. Hunter is like a, not a great perk. Just to be honest, it's just not a great perk. Track arounds is an incredible perk. Uh, Nimble hands is being replaced with Epic crack shot. Okay. So they're moving crack shot from legendary down to Epic, but they're giving him legendary life drain, legendary nimble hands and Epic tenacity. They're moving tenacity down to Epic. He is going to be insane. He is going to be like this whole 
dualist Intel hybrid character. Uh, I know that Crack Shot being replaced with Legendary Nimble Hands is kind of like, whoa, what is this? But like, I'm very interested to see how Legendary Nimble, Nimble Hands actually works in execution because I think that that would be a really cool perk idea. But also, like, he's he can be played very aggressively with Legendary Life Drain, Epic Tenacity, uh, with Track Arounds, and with padded steps, armor, shred arounds, like he is going to be absolutely insane, especially whenever you're running with DMRs. So I'm very excited to see what Talon, what Talon's able to do whenever this update comes out. But be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you like the rogue changes that are happening? How do you feel about Mac receiving the changes that he got? What do you think about Talon's new perk loadout? Also, are you excited as I am that Dallas got EMPs over Adrenaline Shot? Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, be sure to check that description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed to the channel, then consider hitting that join button to become one of the 256 crew members. Lastly, on Thursdays from 8 until 11 p.m. Central Time, Sundays from 10 a.m. until we get tired, I will be streaming here on YouTube. So if you're interested and available, please feel free to stop by and say hello there. Thanks for watching, guys. Cooter. <laughs> She's old enough to have a cooter. Well, in that skin, she don't. Because she sounds young yeah. in that skin. But the other Dude, skins, oh yeah. Let's but be sure. honest. That was supposed to be a Switchblade skin.